Hey everyone, Dan the Glassman here, and we're about to work on a very special water drop for the Gathering of Nations Pow Wow 2018. This water drop will be going on the staff that came from Standing Rock to represent all the water protectors and to represent water is life. Mini Wachoni. Let's get started. So right now what I'm doing is I'm working on some colors here and I'm just getting them prepared and getting them stretched out do a little bit of some drawing for some colors. So last year, in 2017, Gathering of Nations Pow Wow, Orlando Cruz and several others came down from Standing Rock with a staff to honor the Gathering of Nations and to gift them the staff uh, with seven, seven feathers as well as uh, several other items that were placed on there to represent what had happened at Standing Rock and to represent all the water protectors there. So this year and every year from here on out and, and from the beginning since last year, uh, they will be adding a feather to the staff every year at the Gathering of Nations Pow Wow. And so this year will be the first year, that'll be this weekend coming up, and it'll be the first year of returning and adding a feather to the staff. And last year, Orlando Cruz and I didn't know each other at the Gathering of Nations. We had met each other two days after at the at the feast day San Felipe feast day on May 1st 
of 2017. And so on this day, May 1st, 2017, was the day that we started to gift out all these water drops to all the water protectors who went to Sandy Rock. So far we've gifted out 2,400. We have many more to go. And uh, since our whole journeys have uh, come to be, uh, basically we've decided to add a water drop to the staff as well this year. Since we weren't able to have one last year, I did not know Orlando Cruz. Uh, we weren't able to add one to it. And so this year we're going to add a, a water drop. And you know, I was thinking I wanted to add some color to this water drop. But now that I'm thinking of it, and I should keep it clear to represent the purity and the clarity of clean drinking water. So I'm not going to be adding the colors that I, I thought I was going to be adding to the and we'll save that for another time. So being that this is for the staff, what I would like to do is make this water drop as clean as possible. We're going to go in and we're going to take out all the blemishes off the surface here. We're going to clean it up. Sometimes when uh, the dust falls on the glass, it'll create it'll create little uh, marks, little impurities that you can't really see unless you heat it up or through a, a through a, like a um, magnifying glass or something like that. When you put light through it, and then you'll be able to see all the little impurities in there. We're gonna take them all out. We're gonna clean this glass up and best we can. Get rid of all the little tiny water drops on the outside. Make this nice and pure. So I'm extremely honored to be able to do this, to make this water drop for the staff that comes from Sandy Rock, to represent Water's Life. I'd like to thank you, Orlando Cruz. I appreciate you. It'll be an honor. It will be such an honor from from time and time again, year after year, to be able to see, to witness them add another feather to the staff year after year, and to be able to see the water drop. This water drop.
I'm really excited to be back this year. We're going back to the gathering with Orlando Cruz. He'll be there with Native Media Network. I'll be there as his entourage. Hopefully the little drop will make a, an appearance at the Gathering of Nations. I'm excited to see all the different performances at the stage 49. Or sorry, is that fit? I don't even know now. The stage electric 49. I don't believe it's a 59. So I'll be there at the stage, as well as in the uh, in the tent where Orlando Cruz will be set up with the Native Media Network. I'd like to thank Native Media Network and Harmon for allowing us to be a part of uh, many of the functions uh, in the last year. I believe the last time that uh, we were working with him was at the uh, state fair. So we're headed back to the fairgrounds for the Gallia Nations. That looks really clean there. Couple little blemishes here and there, but I think we're pretty good with all the air bubbles and all the little dust marks and things like that. Let's get shaping. So being that this is going on the staff from Standing Rock, and this will be honored year after year with another feather to be added to the staff, I'd like to make sure that this water drop is nice and large. That way it can be seen from the floor. I do believe that when the cameras are on it, and people start taking photos of it, especially with flash photography, that the water drop will actually illuminate with light on that staff. I do believe that's what will happen. It'll shimmer and shine really bright like that from the flash. One of the largest water drops that I made is for One Drop Studio here at Camp Two Dogs, which is hanging up above me here. I'd like to make sure that this one that's going to the gathering is bigger than the one here at One Drop Studio. So this uh, Gathering of Nations 2018, this powwow, this will mark the one year anniversary of the drop of water pretty much coming to light to the rest of the world. 
and being worn by some of the uh, the dancers, the enchanted buffalo dancers, and uh, my friends were were part of there from Acoma Pueblo, and they asked to wear something to represent water is life, and they asked to wear this drop of water symbol specifically. And so they were the first ones to wear this water drop symbol. And they represented the drop of water there at the Gathering of Nations last year. There were about 18 of them, dancers and singers, there on the floor at the gathering last year of 2017. So it was an honor to be there. To be involved in that way. It was such an honor to be asked to have my water drops worn there for the Buffalo Dance, a special Buffalo Dance presentation last year. Trying to clean this up just a little bit more here. So this uh, this journey, this one year journey, there's been so much that's gone on. We've gifted out 24 water drops to water protectors, specifically from Standing Rock. We've been involved with the Canadian water drop campaign with our friend Michael Coles at the Turtle Island Water Foundation Enterprises and he's been on a journey of gifting out water drops to many water protectors who were also at Standing Rock but are located in Can Canada so thank you Michael Coles for all that you've done for joining Joining uh, on our mission of gifting out water drops to water protectors since our website went live August 8th of 2017. That's another huge thing that has happened, getting the website going all in the last year. Another huge thing was moving the studio up to Camp Two Dogs here. In the winter of 2017, right at the end of the year, you know, which has caused some delays in getting some water drops out there and some of the orders. And so I'm doing my best to get those all caught up still. And we'll have those, all the orders fulfilled really soon. But we definitely need to make sure that we have enough water drops going to the Gathering of Nations right now. In the event that we run into many water protectors there, I'd like to gift out as many as we run into that were at Standing Rock. There are also all the dancers who were involved in the special Buffalo Dance presentation last year. That special presentation had at least 200, maybe 300 dancers and singers involved and I would love to gift them all as well but I'm unsure how to reach out to them all so we've gifted out some of them and we'd like to reach out to many more of them and gift them as well for being part of the special Buffalo Dance Tribute So we've gifted out 2,400 water drops so far, and we're unsure exactly, specifically how many water protectors were at Standing Rock. We've had many numbers thrown at us. The largest number that we've heard so far has been 
90,000 water protectors. And that number can, can seem pretty accurate with as many people that came and went and those that stood there for the entire journey, the entire process. So I'd like to thank you all for going up to Standing Rock and protecting our water. Creator's water. God's gift to us, to this planet, to Mother Earth, to all life, to all living creatures, all living souls. That is why we're gifting these water drops out to all the water protectors from Standing Rock. Because water is a very vital resource for all of us, for all living things, all living creatures. And Standing Rock was a very important catalyst that changed and shifted the consciousness of the entire world and allowed the world to finally waken up, to open their eyes, to finally see what's going on. And to finally stand up against it in solidarity, in unity, and most importantly in prayer. Guardians of the planet Earth. Warriors. I thank you all for protecting Mother Earth. And all the sacred resources, the water, the air, the food. I'd like to thank you all for all your love and all your support for this last year. Thank you for your patience. I'm waiting for your orders to come through. And knowing that we're gifting out so many more water drops than we're selling. And it's important that we gift out these water drops. And by you purchasing a water drop or any other gift that we have on our website www.thedropofwater.com when you help us your con contributions help to gift out many more water protectors so we thank you so much for your love and your support without it we would never be able to afford to gift these out 2400 water drops that's $24,000 in water drops that we gifted out last year. And our goal is 90,000. Or 900 million dollars in water drops. So we have a long way to go. So we thank you for your love and your support. And we appreciate you sharing all of our information sharing our website with your friends, your family, getting others to help us as well and to support us in our mission here of gifting all the water protectors. So it's a very important symbol here. The drop of water. So please come on out to the Gathering of Nations Powwow 2018 and find Orlando Cruz and I out there. Hopefully the little drop will be there too with us. Come find us at Native Media Network booth or come find me at the stage, stage 49.
And please try to come and see the uh, the 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 adding of the the feather and the water drop to the staff. I'll be giving this to Orlando Cruz so he can do that and add this water drop to the staff. I do believe that there will be a water protector from Standing Rock and every year a new water protector from Standing Rock will carry the staff and will add another feather to it. I personally was never at Standing Rock so I will never be given the gift or that honor of carrying the staff from Standing Rock. But I'm extremely honored in being able to add this water drop here, specifically this one, to the staff. So thank you, Orlando. We'll get this to you in just a couple days when I get down there back to Albuquerque. sure how much bigger I'm gonna go it's getting pretty big here I would say this one's at least three to four times the, the normal standard size of the water drops here I do think that keeping it clear was a really good choice. I did want to add some colors to it. I was going to add white to represent the north, yellow to represent the east, red to represent the south, and black. To represent the West. But being that we're all fighting for clean drinking water, that's what we're manifesting, that's what we're praying for. Clear, crystal clean drinking water. We'll keep this water drop clean and clear. And I would love to see how the pictures show up with the flash photography. Being that it's clear, the light's going to dance off of this beautifully. I'm not sure how much bigger I can make this without losing its shape. It's starting to get really big and, and heavy on the end here. A lot of glass has been gathered.
Uh, they almost got the shaping that I like here. Beautiful. That has a really nice shape to it now. Try to gather it up a little bit more and get this around it some more. Being that it's so heavy, it wants to try to get lopsided a little bit, so I have to try to round this up as best as I can by hand with no molds. No marble molds or any sort of graphite molds whatsoever. Just using the flame, using gravity. And using the reflection of the light to see the shaping and the roundness. As you can see, it's really large compared to the, uh, the rod that it first started out with, the 12 millimeter rod there. I'm going to put it in my left hand here and round it out to help uh, compensate for uh, being on the on the right hand the whole time and i got to balance it out by bringing it to the left to make it nice and round. Alright you guys, we're just about there where we can shape the loop and allow this to hang.
All right, so just elongating it a little bit to give it that nice teardrop shape. And we gotta re-round the bottom a little bit. Make sure it didn't elongate too much. Give it a nice rounded water drop shape on the bottom. And elongate it up into the loop. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and shape this out. Give it a nice stretch. Give it a beautiful water drop shape. I'm going to shape the loop. I'm going to clean it up and it'll be done. I'd like to thank you guys all for tuning in and watching this special presentation of making the water drop for the staff for the Gathering of Nations. I'm ready to shape the loop now, guys.
Okay. I do believe I'm very, very happy with this. Water drop. Nice and clean. A nice thick loop. Hopefully this will never break. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Remember, water is life. Every drop counts. We'll see you at the Gathering Nations 2018. Thank you guys so much for watching.